This is not the first time I have been attacked. I have been attacked many times before because I am the King of Kings, Adgar. It will happen again, but I will do what I have come to do fearlessly. To attend Sukanya's wedding. If he gave the fort away, he will lose. And if he doesn't... Then he will have to go to war with Queen Jorda. <laughs> I am well aware that your empire owns the fort, but it was promised to us on your behalf by Chief Officer Sharifuddin. He promised us that the fort will be part of this dowry. Sharifuddin, did you say something like this? Your Highness, why will I say that? I have made my decision. I will resolve this. I will never give you the fort. I mean, he did say it on oath that he had been made a promise that this fort was given to him. But the Emperor says that he has got no knowledge about this matter. The Emperor is as true to his word as we are to our. And if the King of Kings tells me that he has not made them a promise, then I stand by him. You want to rule over their heart and that you want nothing more. But you can't rule over the hearts of selfish people now, can you? The only thing that you can do is use force on them. Sharifuddin came to us with this proposal himself. He made a promise to us that the fort will be given to us after the wedding. Well, that was my plan. I organized their marriage by lying, and then I canceled it by lying too. <laughs> <laughs> she is saying that my brother-in-law, who is your husband, is the one who made a plot with the fort to stop Sukanya's marriage. Why would he ever do that? Shamshuddin Khan, I would like to see King Barmal right now. And I shall sing before I go. As you command, Emperor. King Barmal, as your daughter is a part of my family, it means I am a part of your family as well. Because of that, I would never let Amer be defamed. So I am ready to give you that fort. I have got no idea what Jalal is made of. He keeps on doing the opposite of what we think. He gave the fort of Ratanpur away without a problem. You gave us the fort of Ratanpur first. And then without warning you attacked it, and you took control of it again. How dare you cheat us once again? I gave you that fort because I had given my word to King Barmal. And so I took the fort back from you, because I wanted to teach you a lesson. And to make you realize that some things are not asked for and that they have to be won in life. Gifts are never asked for or taken away. And you give them with all of your heart. So that's why I am going to give you the fort of Ratanpur. Please just tell me that you didn't do anything. Kunjord, I'm the king of kings. I can do whatever I want without permission, and what I did was necessary. You went to the temple with Queen Joda, and you proceeded to insult our religion by bowing your head to the statue. You prayed with them in their manner, and that is vehemently against our religion. Religion is not based on where you pray. It resides deep in your heart. And I am the same religion as I was. I am full of devotion to our religion and tradition. As a king, I cannot go back on my promises or go back on my word. I promised your Queen Jorda that she can follow her religion. And because of that, I cannot force her to convert. It is said that if you wrap a black cloth around your body, it would work wonders to heat someone. It gives warmth to the body. So I wrapped your body tightly in the black cloth. This means that that night you did not. <laughs> We must keep our religion pure and untainted. We cannot tolerate this attack on our religion. Even if we have to, revolt against the king for this overstepping. Today the king has made me wait a lot for him. I have no idea where he is. So please tell me, what is the punishment that I should give to you for this crime, so that you will not proclaim later to the public that injustice was meted out to you? What kind of joke is this, my king? You have made a joke of me and my rule, priest. You have tried to spread a rumor to the people that their king has strayed from faith. That I do not deserve this throne and I am not a true believer. If I would have known that he was meant to have come to your room last night, then I would have gone ahead and sent him to you immediately. Because I stole. I'm not interested in spending the night with him. And I don't have any plans to snatch him away from you either. Because the Emperor would never have dreamt that Abu Mali would try to attack Agra. And I'm sure Abu Mali never dreamt that I would ruin him before he could even try to attack my kingdom. Jordan?
I hope she will be all right now. You will be happy to hear this, Emperor. Queen Joda is going to be a mother. I cannot believe he did this. I can't believe the Emperor lied to me. He must have taken advantage of me when I was unconscious. How is this possible? I didn't even touch Joda. So how can she possibly be pregnant? But the doctor wouldn't lie to me, so this has to mean that Joda slept with someone else. So this means that Jalal lied to me. He made me a promise that nothing happened between him and Joda that night. Hakim Mirza will never come here all the way from Kabul. And let me tell you, Salim and Rukaya are not going to give up on inheriting the throne. Because other than you, both of them are from royal families, Adam. You do not have royal blood. So that is why I say that you should rather try to keep your emotions in check. In the first place, you do not have the power to stand up against Shalal right now. And in the second place, now is not the right time to be playing any games. And if I find out that you did not tell me about it because you were scared of someone or you were bribed, then I will have you beheaded. Why would I lie to you? I wouldn't have the guts. What would I gain, Queen Mother? For generations, my family have been dedicated to loyally serving the royal family. All of the signs show that Queen Joda is pregnant. There is not a doubt in my mind. Queen Joda will become a mother.